Welcome to Whiskey Mystery. I'm Phil. I'm Deep. And we're back for another blind tasting. You know, we're working our way through our final 125 <laughs> bottles to blind taste over 300. Um, yes, Springbank. There are still eight Springbanks left, I think. So there's probably about a 7% chance that it could be a Springbank at any one time. <clears throat> Last week's Springbank, we've ended up putting it here on the shelf. I was saying how much there was another one that we didn't like even more than this one, but that wasn't right. I look back at the other video where we did a blind lineup of Springbank 21s, and actually this one we liked the least. That was sixth place. Fifth place was an older Springbank 18, which we didn't like that much, but we thought it was better. Then there was a single cask. There was... Um, so, so 2015 Springbank, which could be today's, you never know. It's still in there. But the one that actually came second place isn't on the shelf, so it's a bit unfair, isn't it? <laughs> right, what are we going to be doing? I'll get the viscometer ready while we chat. Let's have a look. Let's get this started. And then we can get on with the rest of the business. And go! Of course, I'll forget to look at it again, so I'm relying on everyone in the chat to see that <laughs> that time. Um, 182, picked by, we were in a bit of a rush at the end of the week, so I don't know who actually got Springbank 18. So we'll just say, picked by all of us. We're slowly working our way through, and everything on the shelf is pretty good. But today, this is what we're going to be looking at. Uh, for the next 12 minutes, we're going to nose it, taste it, rank it somewhere on the shelf. I think this one's on the shelf. Might, yes. Might even be top shelf. I, I like it. Based on yesterday's homework. Now the... Oh, I thought there might be a little more left, but it's, it's mostly a vanilla I'm getting, which points towards ex-bourbon. Any apple pie. Heavy apple pie. There's something dusty. It could be peated. I mean, we were caught by when I, I looked over last week's show and early on I did say something like, there is a tiny bit of smoke, but not enough to be Springbank or a tiny bit of funk, not enough to be Springbank. Well, it turned out it was Springbank because obviously the older a whiskey gets, the more these sort of strong, obvious smokiness, funkiness tends to diminish and become more and more integrated. So. Is there any? But let's put our 21-year hats on for a minute. Um, yeah, that's what it's more like. It's more like dusty chocolate, like cocoa powder. That suggests ex-bourbon, if it's got that vanilla chocolate powder, I think, from what we've experienced before. <sighs> right, should we pour something? I think we better had. <laughs> How's everyone doing today? I saw Tim Donapass, you're drinking a Spayburn today. It is early for us, isn't it? But hey, it's Sunday. And yes, the spreadsheet is at the light end of the scale. Oh, not that one. We want to keep that one on. So bubbles are not too big. Oh, it, I was reading yesterday's notes and you'd written apple. I was like, I don't remember it being apple-y. And then as soon as I stuck my nose in, I was like, oh, it is apple-y. Apple vanilla and chocolate powder. Apple vanilla chocolate powder. So quite, quite sponge cake, bakery. And maybe a dash of sherry in it as well. That's what I was wondering. Is there any sherry? I mean, it is darker, but of course you can have, you can have ex bourbon can be dark. Um. Hey, Greg. So Greg's whiskey guys just dropped in. ABV is not too strong here. It's fine. Um, new plastic. New plastic. With a, with a better spray over it. Hang on, that sounds like something quite Isla. Petrol and plastic. I don't know if I'd go that far. I'm more. You had said coconut yesterday, and I was just getting coconut there as well. More and more, I'm thinking. I'm getting a vanilla milk coconut, but 
It's very blurry, very soft. Blurry, soft. Now, we're presuming ex-bourbon, but let's... Is there anything whiny or sherry or anything else in there? I'm keeping my eye on the viscosity. Smelly sugar. Sugary. And time is up. 3.50.51. Okay, well, um, not... Not too bad. That works out at 106%. So that puts us right at average viscosity. What about for the previous big back? The uh, back or eight? I think it was a little higher. But uh, 106, 107% viscosity of when compared to standard 40% Russian vodka. Uh, that's been fairly common for whiskey. So that's a good viscosity. I'm to get a sip. A little. Meat. You can't do that. We've got to do water first. <laughs> Did you do the empty glass trick? I'm waiting to see if we're going to get anything that would be, you know, tar, phenolic. I didn't get anything sherry or nutty, did you? I think uh, that's a sherry, yes. Oh. That was sad, that of suffery, that of smoke. When I very came, very... When I came back to the full glass, I could be convinced but I'm still going ex bourbon if there's any sherry it's going to be some yeah. tiny amount yeah. see we had that with um, the yellow spot where it was finished in some wine barrels I think so a, it, star. a little bit a little bit spicy oak dust now developing in this empty glass mm, okay bubbles before we do anything let's do bubbles oh. not very big 43%, 46%, we're down in that range. Now, when we're below 48%, there's really not much to talk about other than you see them disappear quite quickly. Is there anything we can get from that? Nope, just fine bubbles. <clears throat> right, I think. Oh, yeah, more oaky now. Let's do a full water version to get us started. I know deeper. It's very straightforward. Straightforward. So based on the nose, the expectation is, oh, this is probably a good quality, um, sort of 12 to 15 year old type of bottle, but maybe a little older. But nothing too complex in there. Did I pour a lot of water in there? Right, water. Oh, hang on. I have to get a more sherry now. Oh, hang on. There's something. I thought I wrote it down yesterday and now I've forgotten. I'm with the something dirty. Dirty Just, apple. With the water added, you do get a little bit of what Deep was talking about earlier. That sort of slight petrol plastic. Um, coming out of it. Okay, smoky dirtiness. This. Oh, that's nice. It's not free, it's not, oh, it's but it's, on. You say smoky dirtiness, but. It's the suffer type. Indian Peter, looking forward to this afternoon. Cheers, Indian Peter. <laughs> Thank you very much. The name will be going in the hat. I guess we need to do another drawing because it's the end of the month, don't we? There's a little bit of herbal powder dust in the air now in this one. Slightly, slightly on the phenolic side, but mostly it's still on the vanilla underneath. I'm going to use that as a little water for mine. <laughs> hey, cheers. Right, here we go. Full strength then. A bit more of a fetter bit of that smoke. A lot of vanilla on the finish though. Yes. Quite long lasting. I, 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 the fetter bit of Vegetation, smoke. bit of vegetation in there as well. Oh, you mean the smoke. a smoke? The... I'm, I'm wary of smoke in this discussion. 
earthiness, maybe. All right, it's full strength. First off, how strong is it? Uh, yeah. Is it is it the way um oh the finish is actually quite long, isn't it? Is it like Craig Ellicky, the way they have worm tubs and there's some dirtiness, but yeah, possible. I don't think Craig Ellicky actually uses peat, do they? I think it's coming from other processes. I think we're in the forty six percent world it's, here, and so if it is, there's a lot to choose from. Forty-six. forty-six. I'm very surprised how that late vanilla finish builds up at the end. We had that once before with um, Glen Lossy nineteen. I'm sorry, the finish now. I'm surprised because you normally don't like vanilla. I'm not getting vanilla. You are getting vanilla. Okay. I think we've said vanilla enough now. That's my fault. Right. I'm getting out of a time aiming oil. It is quite herbal bitter at the start, nicely. Lemon rind. Time I aim an oil. Yeah, lemon oil, thyme oil. A little bit of this sort of pine tree. Oh, that is good, isn't it? Mm, I like it. Three minutes to go. It's mm. beautifully integrated. It's very good for the... Oh, now I'm thinking it's older because the initial arrival, it's like, oh, that tastes like a nice ex-bourbon type of whiskey. And then it kind of rolls into more herbal experience. And then you think that's closing, and then you get, I get, vanilla. No, no, I'm getting vanilla. And then this vanilla wave comes up at the end. So it, it's got three or four. Oh, Let please. me go through again. And again, um, the finish is also time oil. I mean, oil, finish. It's a And also, I'm getting a cough syrup goosiness. A little cough syrup. Oh, I was trapped in the whiskey. Maschek. Oh, is that right? That's not right, is it? Maschek. <laughs> oh, no. Correct us. Thank you. Oh, you're coming from the UK. I see pounds. Hopefully, we'll get back to the UK this time. Appreciate that. Thanks. Oh, love the show. Thank you very much. Right. Uh, we are one minute, so we have to get on to... Let's do some comparisons. Mmm, okay, okay. I'll do this comparison while Deep is writing. Something that I want to know, this is actually, I'll tell you in a minute. Mmm, I saw the thing very, very good. I'm going to get the maybe it's funny, fun. <laughs> or maybe spring back. Maybe spring back. Same, similar, better, worse. That's to decimate better. I think it's smoky, grassy, mm. over. It has some similarities in the experience. I prefer today. Today's, that's today's. I mean, I mean, I, mean, I prefer this. Oh. That is a 25 year Bunnahaven ex bourbon. That's it. Yeah. And we have a Kleinlish as well, which is why I was thinking it could be a similar thing, meaning ex bourbon long. Today. Time is up. Oh, today is sweeter. But there's still time for comparisons. Today is better than that. Kleinlish 14. Could it be Kleinlish? Mm. 
Mm. More earthy, I think. No. Okay, quick one. Better or worse? Fast. Mm. Going a bit faster. I think better. I prefer to do Yeah. It's a bit too bitter. What is it? Dean's an 18. Oh. So that means we're putting it somewhere in this range. And I think you would prefer Springbank Green over this. Remember the, you know the one I'm talking about? But. I think I might prefer Springbank Green, maybe. I put it over there. Okay, let's try and summarize. I'm going with X Bourbon. But that is sherry. Well, I'm going with X Bourbon. Okay, I thought, <laughs> but uh, maybe then, but that is sherry. Old. I'm going old now. Mm, you do. We know it's 46%. Mm. You have a look at this. Oh, hang on. Here's the picture. Oh, Heather, we have a new subs subscription. Subscriber. Thanks, Heather. The painting, I had to add more and more detail the more we tasted. Because it was that good. Now, let me oh, let me put up. So while we chat a little more, you can see what we uh, possibly have here. Now it's a 46 percenter. And there are quite a lot of them. What could it be? Anok, Highland Park, Aaron, Bal Blairs, couple of Bal Blairs, Brookladdy 22. Oh, there's that Kleinlish, Craigellachy, Daphmill, Dalm, oh, the look. You just have a look here. I'll leave it up for a second. Um, it's quite deep. I think we've gone a bit sharp, prickly. Very nice. Um, older, 46%, mostly ex-bourbon. No smoke or peat. It's not really definitely more oh. earthy vegetation. So we're talking about Highland Speyside more than we're talking about Ireland. Could be Aaron, maybe. Uh oh, uh oh, land. I was gonna say, any chance it's the Daff Mill? We've already mentioned this Kleinlish. We've the Springbank. We are Springbank. Oh, well, there's Springbank over there if you want to go for it. There's another one. But by Irene. Uh, yes. I don't think it's anywhere near Springbanky enough. There again, I said that last week. You know, there's a there's a Dalmore Independent Bottle X Bourbon at 46%. Brookladdy 22? It's not farmy enough. Are you getting anything Brook Laddie like? Normally I get Brook Laddie on the nose. Oh, it's possible. I don't think it's the Dean's though. Loch Lomond. It's very deep. I'm thinking. I'm going for Oh, it made me die. But how many years? It only spent for you. 12 years. 90 years. Oh, it could be this. I'm, I'm one of these three. Are you. I go, I go for this too. You're going Springbank? Hmm. <laughs> ah, this is my third place. This is my second place. I'm going to go for the Weems Kleinlish. Where's the bottle? What's it called? Coastal Orchard. 90 year old. But need to be given the, the app. Canned fruit, missing fruit. Are you... Are you Bloody. ready? Are you ready for the reveal? <laughs> Oh, I, of course, I should have done the chat. Hang on. 
My name is Magic. 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 Very good. Okay, got it. Actually, we didn't check to see what everyone else is guessing here, did we? Let's uh, quickly jump into the chat and see what we have got. Uh, Whiskey 101. I've gone with Spirit of Freedom 30 Blend. Oh, that's not a bad guess either. Yeah. Could have a touch of sherry, couldn't it? Your notes are very close to this one and it has age. Mmm, deep as going spring bank. What about Spirit of Freedom? Could we it's be convinced? Possible. Really did. Donna passed him. Was lusting for that laddie 22 from uh, TWE, but out of my price range. Yeah, I know. It's a spicy, pricey one, isn't it? Uh, Craig Elke 23 is my favourite Scotch teddy. It can't be the Craig Elke. It's not. It's not grassy, dirty enough, I don't think. This is quite light. Spirit of Freedom, Ralph is going for that as well. Well, we are about to find out. Oh, Deep has now joined your Spirit of Freedom team. I don't think I even brought it up. 46%. Uh, Time for the reveal again. It is. <laughs> 32 years old. 32. What have we it's got? It's the seat. What have we got that's 32? Hang on. Oh no, I need those paper. Is it a paper one? Oh. Back to the spreadsheet, everybody. Back to the spreadsheet. I don't even know that we've got a 32 year old whiskey. It's Baba Spreadsheet. I know, but. Tormor? Is Spirit of Freedom 32 years old? What have we done? Oh my god, you very expensive. Hang on, we've spent $323 on it? Well, at least it made it to the top <laughs> shelf. I, I can more than you. It's still not flashing in my mind do, what do, we do, have as a do, do you like it? Do, do you like it? Yeah, I've said it's top shelf. It is a Highland. Oh no! No! That's disappointing. It's disappointing because yesterday I was thinking it could be this Bal Blair, but it's not rich enough to be this one. Because we had this one on a secret December 25th, you know, let's drink some whiskey. I love it. I remember it was fantastic. I was hoping it was going to be top 10 and we haven't put it there. Okay. But it is ex bourbon. Oh! No, sir, it is. Not if a bad pathetic. I feel a little sad. Let's have a look. And see how we can. Uh, let's see how we can cheat and upgrade it to the top 10. So, distilled in 1983, bottled in 2015. I think we've got enough for ourselves. Let's pour from the bottle. Maybe the bottle's a lot better. <laughs> oh, I just wanted that to really sort of stand out. Because, because when I tasted it, I thought it was the best whiskey we'd had. Mm. Like I was expecting it to be yeah. right up here. It is non dramatic. It's how are our notes? I think we were mostly right. Of course, this is the oldest whiskey that we have ever had. Mm, that, wow, really. The smell is very blurry. So I can it makes sense. 32 years. The flavour are not sharp. Oh, that is fantastic. It's fine, uh, sharp. That's why I cannot expect 32 years. It's fine, I heard. Just... Let me go back. I prefer, it's been around 18 years, not 32 years. I 
it is so much better. Oh, that bunner is good. Wow, what is it? That's the bunner. Oh, really? What is that? Oh, hang on, what is that? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was that's fifty percent Ben Rinnis I picked up by mistake. I did. I did. So. It's up here as well. <laughs> I was thought. I was... <laughs> I didn't want to go to 50% because these are all 46. I thought it's 50. What I was trying to compare was... But, but it's 50. Yeah. Okay. I was trying not to blow out the, the taste buds. What I wanted to compare was the bunner again. Back to this. Mmm. Oh yeah, it has a very nice sun. Pineapple mint in the second half. Oh, it's it's really good. It's right up there. And the span is um uh, sharp and more alert. Today is very heavy, a bit blurry. Yeah. I'm still saying it's up here. Just looking at the top 10, is there anything that you would say you would challenge this to replace? Long Row Red Malbec? Oh, I don't think so. I don't think so. I think right in here is the right spot for it. Yeah. Okay, over to the chat. Let's see. Let's take that one off the table. Oh, I feel a little sad. I must admit, I feel a little sad. This is an expensive bottle now. Uh, we bought this one. This is two years ago that we bought this for 323. $8.8 per year. This is probably a lot more expensive now, isn't it? But, but the finish is give very uh finish it's good finish and it's excellent it's permanent for three after it's money three dollars that's right i mean you just tasted the ben rinnis by mistake when i pulled it up and i'm actually that for oh, we paid 126 for this one actually about the same time now it is 50 percent, but that just goes to show you you can buy an independent bottle of a um Yeah, 50% ex-bourbon in this case, probably. Refill hogshead, so probably ex-bourbon. Uh, it's you. Old, and get a very similar experience. And the same thing goes, actually, for this 25-year Bonnehaven, where we only paid 163 for it, I think. Now, official bottle, you're you're always going to pay a bit more. So, so the family is that never, ever feel bad. About what? About... Have you missed an expensive price? Uh, three other dollar. Forget it. Um, I just think it just shows how much value there is in the independent bottles. Mm. Those prices have been creeping up, though, I've noticed, in the independents. Okay, let's go to the chat. That's what I'm supposed to be doing. Right, where are we? Let me scroll down to see. Who got it? Lucas, Bal Blair, 1983, yes, Teddy, yes, were those guesses? I'd be disappointed, oh, here we go, 32 years old, uh, Jimmy Paul, Bal Blair, there you go, so I think the, the guess is, it's probably Lucas, I think, might have it this time. I, I mean, it's an yummy, it's just good, Teddy. but not far. No! Yeah, I know. Let's see. Gerben! Hey, Gerben! Oh, you're not talking to me. <laughs> well, I was hoping for a Highland, Lucas. <clears throat> I so have, the phone? Teddy, I have two bottles of this one. I wanted it to be top ten. Oh, I'm yes. so sorry. Actually, we have two bottles as well. <laughs> <laughs> the, the Christmas Day vibes are hard to live up to when tasting it blind. There you go. Makes you think it's disappointing in relation to an expensive Val Blair. 
expensive as in a lot of money peated this is not a disappointing whiskey i just wanted it to be really like oh mm. this is absolutely top 10 <laughs> good i assure him i mean it just shows you also how 46 percent is hard to make it top no hang on i take that back the Highland Park is about 46%. Okay, okay, that way. I'm happy not to share any more of this. The oh, you're not sharing it? No. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll put it on the sharing list for a little bit. <laughs> At least Deepa joined us and we were only two years out. That's true, Whiskey 101. Oh, right. Magic is check. No, oh, sorry, Lucas is Czech. <laughs> Anuj, uh, how are the tables turned after the reveal? I oh, know. So sad. Donna Pass, 1983, the year between graduating high school, then joining the USAF the next year. My derelict drifter year. Well, wow, very good. You, you made a very good whiskey in that time, Tim. Teddy KGB, just because I have... Oh, hang on, I'll have to read it. I'll have to read it here. Just because I have 30 plus Bal Blair vintages on my shelves and cherish them, I'll give you more <laughs> when Craig Ellicky 23 comes. Oh, I wonder, would I prefer Craig Ellicky 23 to this? I'm so sorry. You know, we still have the off the shelf, no, after the show shelf shuffle. You might get this to top 10. You never know. Tune in next week. <laughs> Maybe you can be up with these for Anarchy 23. Yeah. Well, we're still waiting for it to come up. All right. Uh, who, who else was guessing? Let's see. This Bell Blair will be a goal to get a sample. Well, there you go. I'll put it on the sample list. <laughs> Bell Blair 1999 <laughs> will taste very bleak compared to this one. Yeah, that's what I was thinking, Teddy. Aquami, I think there are some tasting notes printed inside the box. Okay, you want to see them? Wait for let me get the box, please. Oh, yeah. Oh, hang on. We've got a bonus. We have Balblen 1991, 27-year-old. Oh, look. We can do a little comparison. Balblen 1991, the third release from Tony Nelson. Can we try? Yeah, that's why it's in the box. <laughs> Hang on, what's the ABV? Also 46%. So what is it? It's bourbon. I don't know. I am use 27. All right, um, I put it into an unmarked glass. I'll leave it there for a second. We'll look at the tasting notes on the inside, and then we'll do a little blind comparison. Tasting notes. The first release of Bal Blair 1983 has a rich golden appearance. On the nose, there are warm aromas of butterscotch, toffee, and vanilla. See? Yes. <laughs> that come from the long years of maturation in American oak ex-bourbon barrels. Citrus fruits can also be detected in the aroma, adding to the complexity of this exceptional vintage. On the palate, it is sweet and spicy, fresh fruits and honey combined to create a long, warming and full-bodied finish. I'm not getting very fresh fruit, but here it's very blurry. Well, a spicy. We have the citrus, we have the lemon. Mm. I'm still happy. <laughs> I think it's a new one. Do you want to go blind? No, I give you blind. Well, I uh, know. I, I prefer you don't know which you. one's which, any. Okay. No. Right here we go. Purpose one. I'll tell you after. So we're going for the thirty-two verses. It's twenty-seven. Twenty-seven. The one with no logo is the twenty-seven. Right. Oh. Um. I'm almost getting no nose on this one. You get your pot? No nose. Oh. Nothing. Oh. 
Oh, come on. That's top ten. (laughs) (laughs) Okay, let's go to this one. Oh, yeah, Bitter Oak. I mean, that's got to be today's. I've got this one as better. Maybe there's a bit of sherry in this one. Yeah, this is today's. <laughs> okay, here we go. Oh, Let's see what Adiba has to say. Oh, that bal blair is very, very good. I think it's no simmer. Pretty much nothing, but maybe more sugar, isn't it? Jimmy, you do day. Okay, Deepa's going for the other one first. That, mm. This is the 27. It's, it's part of it. It's today. No, it's this one. That's today's. That's today's. The new is after different. I go for the top 10. You are wrong. Oh! <laughs> oh. That's today's. At this point, I prefer me. I, I prefer this one. I think this one has sherry, doesn't it? Ah, 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 this one. But you prefer this one. Oh, hang on. Oh, we've been on that close-up camera for like the last ten minutes. Oh, oops. <clears throat> India P. Dead. <clears throat> what is eight point eight dollars per year? I do this calculation where I take the whiskey. I normalize it down to 40% ABV to compare with all the other ones and then divide the price by the number of years. So at 40% ABV, this is costing $8.8 per year. Whereas something like Springbank Local Barley is $14, $15 per year. Um, Yeah, there you go. So $8.8 per year is actually on the lower end. This is relatively Cheap. <laughs> I put not put it the top ten. Not put this. How rude. Okay. Ah, uh, compare it to Balbalaya Twelve Whiskey One Hundred One. Hmm. Don't have it. Uh, that ninety three is almost as old as me. <laughs> Eighty three. Anuj. Whiskey One Hundred One. My Balbalaya Eighty Three was empty a long time ago, unfortunately. I did like it a lot, though. Yes, it is that given. I is showing it. I see people joining in with my 40% explanation. Oh, I see. I've gone up the chat quite a bit. Uh, Peter Ed was joking on the disappointment. Yeah. Gerben, I learned so much always from your comments. Well, thanks, Gerben. <laughs> it's always a bit random whether you learn something or not. Donna Pass, bal players are usually subtle and delicate, but lots of complexity lurking beneath. I agree. Yes. That's exactly what yes. we're getting. By the way, we need to go ahead and pick a new bottle. As far as I know, it's Lucas is going to pick, mm. right? Someone shout out, Lucas. Top shelf, bottom shelf, deeper side, fill side. Uh, Deeper will sell, no. Deeper will sell you, sell you a sample for 323. Actually, what would this sample be? Oh, no, 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 no. At the bottom of the I'm going to look. Hang on, where is my sharing list? If you look in the description. I do not know the money about this. Shh. If you look in the description, you will find the sharing list. And I'll put this one on it because I normally add them after. Um, and this will be, this will work out at how much. Oh, it's going to be quite pricey. You better than off. $35.70 is what it costs with the sample bottle. Anyway, but if you want to try it, and a whole bunch of others, I think there's there's about 50 or 60 bottles in the sample list right now, and every week we, you know, add the new ones. Right. Um, Bell Blair 1991, Teddy. That's the one I emailed you about. Yes, that's what I was thinking when I saw that little sample. I bought a bottle of that, 1991, this week, Aquami. How much did you... You mean this one? This one. The one that you preferred. How much did you pay for it? I, I liked it. 
Uh, Teddy, I have five Bell Blair 1991s. It's a beauty. Well, you saw the split between me mm. and Deepa. And he's good. Um, is it sherried? Is there a bit of sherry in the 91? I don't have enough information and I've forgotten what we talked about. Whiskey 101, it includes the flight. Oh, talking about something else. Okay, looking for uh, things that are tagged. Yes, the 1991 is around 23 years old in ex bourbon and four in Oloroso. Okay. What is four? Meaning four prosthetics? That No, four years. So that it's 27 years old, but that's, you know, they move it to, to a sherry afterwards, which is what we were picking up, right? I mean, after we done you prefer two days or this? Well, we've done it blind, I, I, and I, I prefer two days. I have two days, but two days are more um, sharp. Aggressive. Mm. Mm. It's funny because you can taste the sherry on the 91 up front, but then all of the finish is like the ex bourbon. I was that today is more different, it's more unique. More unique? Than, than this one. Mm. It's more unique. It's that and more, it's more detective. It's funny because the today's is a flatter start and the finish is quite similar to this one. And the sherry fills in the start, the arrival of the 91. You get the sherry arrival, which dissipates into the finish of the 83. Mm. I think I still prefer the 83. I still yeah. like the 83. Yeah, yes. Okay. Lucas, okay. Lower shelf, fill side, on the left. Oh, this is the first time we're no, going to... No, I think it's the left. Oh, yeah, you're right. I left. It's the first time we're going to break through to blank wood behind. This is going to be bottle number. What number? 183. How many have you chosen now, Lucas? You've got to be above above five by now, haven't you? Here we go. Is it a bourbon? <laughs> Is it going to be a bourbon? You know, we haven't had anything peated or high ABV for a while. That doesn't look particularly high ABV, it's but the colour... It's darker. The two days colour. Okay, you go go ahead and have a taste. Let's see what we're going to get. Anuj, don't get the calc myself. At 325, 32 years old, this is already more than 10. No, at 40% ABV, it, it's like you've watered it down so you actually get more of it. So if you think of the price at 320, whatever it was, at 46, at 40%, it would be relatively cheaper and then divide by the years. It's just to normalize all the whiskies to each other. Is it a bourbon? Um, yeah, no, it's not bourbon. <laughs> Is it better than Bell Blair 1983? It's good, though. It's more funnier. It's funnier, it? Funky town. What did he say? Nothing. Okay. Um, I think we are just about done. I'm catching everyone else chatting to each other. Uh, right. Teddy KGB. No, Russian card player. Oh, what was the movie, Teddy? In Rounders. Yes. That was funny because... We watched it sometime soon after seeing your name in the chat. Made me laugh. Wow, today can I beat this? The new person. Hang on, what are you saying? I'm teasing two days. This is a new. Yeah. And I prefer two days over it. What you actually said was, today cannot beat this. Yes. But this is today's. So I was like cross, like, my brain I, I was mean, like. I mean, today is the winner. 
Yeah, over, that's over the new one. That's more obvious. Today is the winner. <laughs> See you all on Thursday. Thanks everyone for watching. I'll work out some way to get it in the top 10 before the next show. Uh, let's see. Finished? Okay. <laughs>